Hey, what's going on, everyone? I am Jay Dudley. Finally getting home uh, after a long day of smiles. I, well, meeting up with Jake, uh, giving him a refuge medical kit. Uh, before that, running the dump truck and uh, helping a brother that was in need of uh, of some dirt of all things and just running uh, running loads back and forth and seeing him smile and other people that's on his property smile seeing my brother TJ smile he's just he whenever he's doing manual labor that's about all that he can do is just smile uh, I, I didn't actually get to see him do any work, but every time I pulled up there with another load of dirt, uh, he was <laughs> smiling, enjoying himself. But then he had to run off to go do some pastor work, which is definitely understandable. And I know on my other phone, I have a lot of messages and emails and all that stuff I got to get through. I got mail I got to open. Some more grindstone coins came in uh, from uh, Divinely Blessed. It's just a whole bunch that, that's sitting in the van right now. I just didn't have, I didn't have the time or bandwidth to go through them. And I also didn't want to rush through it. And like I'm just getting home. I uh, uh, kissed my wife, hugged the chunk, and he wanted me to give him a bath, so I did that. And yes, it's still with the rings on, and uh, like you can see, like this ring and that ring, how they get tarnished on it over time from uh, from our well water. I didn't even think to uh, to take them off, so now it's like almost my wife's favorite color, which is not a color it's a series of colors which is can't even think of the name of it. she has a couple of knives and a fork set that's uh what is it when it's multiple color i i can't even remember i i don't know i know she likes seafoam green and then whatever all of those color are on my middle finger ring i yeah, but it'll wipe off, see? I can wipe it off and then it goes away. So, uh, then before that, uh, before, oh no, while running the dump truck, there's this guy that has a mechanic shop. Uh, I don't know how long he's been there and it takes up the corner on this one road and I, running uh, all the different trucks that I run for Grindstone. I would see him there. He would wave, I would wave. And then he just see me in all of these different vehicles. And every time he looks up and sees me, he smiles. Then one time I actually happened to see him at Walmart and we actually stopped and talked. And I, he, I recognized him from a distance and then I said hi to him. Then he recognized who I was. Then we had our formal introduction and of course, an, another smile. Then before that, well, earlier it was the smiles of the people working at Refuge. I was there recording. So always changing all of these different hats and every time... Every time I have to run and switch things that I'm doing, like when I was there, I wasn't there as a refuge employee. I was there to film their classroom series, which I think it's going to be mostly internal. Uh, if you were following on Instagram, there were a couple of posts about it in, in the stories. Uh, well, this should go out today. Today is the 19th, September 19th. Hmm. Why should I know those dates? Oh, that is my one of my cousin's birthday and football's mom's birthday. 
is September 19th, I believe. But I don't speak to either one of those. So, And I don't wish people happy birthdays. Like it's, it's not something that I do. Uh, for many years, I didn't celebrate mine or acknowledge it or anything like that. Like, uh, that's, that's a guaranteed time that I won't go on Facebook because it's like, oh, people that I haven't spoken to since my last birthday are wishing me a happy birthday because they feel that's the thing to do. It, it, it doesn't, that doesn't bring me joy. It's good that people still remember me or take the initiative to, but I would love it if they took the initiative to maybe comment on a video like this or uh, comment on a post when I was posting uh, more frequently on different social medias like Facebook or Instagram or anything like that. Like now, I am so hectically busy. I, I, I have a commitment to all of you for putting out videos, but I'm changing how I'm doing my YouTube journey. I, I, I was trying to do three days a week, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but now I'm going to try and stay consistent with Tuesday and Thursday. I added the memberships thing. One person signed up. Thank you uh, for signing up. And I'm going to make exclusive content for the members. So if y'all feel the need to sign up, I'm going to start making exclusive content. And if it's only that one person uh, that subscribed, that one person will get this exclusive content. Uh, I haven't made a decision on everything of what it's going to be, but I have to stay committed to that just so I don't make anyone frown when I'm not putting out any content or anything like that. Well, well I'm paying for this. Well, I understand that. I thank you for it, but I will, I don't want to just rush and throw stuff out there and it not be worth it to you. Like there always has to be a value exchange. That is something that I've always tried to do, whether I was in a fight gym like Endgame or Lucky Devil or Roski Combat Sports Academy, I uh, there was always an exchange for that sweat equity. There was education that was always going in all different directions. There was always something for, uh, for everyone to learn that was in the room. So with everything that I'm doing, not only am I trying to make sure that everyone receives a smile every time they see something that I'm doing, but they also learn something or occasionally learn something, whether it's learning something about me or learning a skill or learning about a product or why I did something like that, why I did something a, a different way. There's there's so many different, uh, so many different things and aspects of of why I do what it is that I do. I I have this house now. There's so many different projects that I want to do with this house, and now that the money is getting there. The time is not getting there. So I have to balance all of that stuff. I'm trying to set up my life with a certain schedule. Like before I even hit record on this, it was posting grindstone stuff. Uh, yes, I do the social media for grindstone. I, I already am in a workflow with the Blue Collar President channel. I am able to I pick a day. It's usually on Tuesdays where I process a whole bunch of shorts and then I get them uploaded and then I schedule everything for a week. So then I don't have to think about that anymore. The rest of my time goes to production of Grindstone videos and Bear Independent podcast and Patreon videos, different things like that, editing all of that stuff. So 
most of the time, the smiles from there or the comments that people leave on there help me to smile, especially when they see the work that I'm doing, the, the quality that I'm putting into the product and making it, making it set apart, making it feel something different so that that value exchange is heightened. It's not something like oh it's just thrown together and uh, nobody cares about it you might get some auditory stimulation or education but there is no no visual there's nothing that's grasping you there's nothing that's keeping you there so as time goes on i'm going to develop my skills with that and give you a better visual whether it's on my videos on bare independent videos on grindstone grindstone ministry videos or anything else i put my hands on so with all of that said it's almost time for uh me to go say prayers with my family and get them all set and ready for the night i'm gonna have to edit this video hopefully it will post before midnight tonight on the 19th and I have to transfer videos that I recorded today. I have shorts that I have to edit, schedule and post. And I have podcasts to edit and post. And I got podcasts and videos to record tomorrow. So I have to make sure that on all my devices, I have plenty of space. So I'm going to stop rambling right now. I got a family upstairs waiting for me so I can say prayers so I can get back down here, get to work so I can go to sleep and make sure that the smiles keep happening. Y'all have a blessed day. Shalom.